Good afternoon. Prosecutors are pushing to get one of Albuquerque's most dangerous drivers back behind bars. Miranda Pacheco killed a bicyclist and is now in trouble for causing another crash while on probation. News 13's Chris McKee is in the Newsplex with details. Kim Bernalillo County prosecutors have filed a second motion in court to revoke Miranda Pacheco's probation. Pacheco now has a lengthy history of substance abuse and reckless driving. It started in 2010. That's when Pacheco drove her car off the road, hitting and killing a bicyclist who was on a bike path. She was later convicted of careless driving and served 90 days for that crime. Then last year, she was arrested for aggravated DWI and reckless driving. But Pacheco managed to get out on probation this April. Then last month, APD arrested Pacheco again. Officers found her passed out behind the wheel of her mom's car, crashed into an auto glass shop on Eubank and Indian School. According to new paperwork filed by the DA's office, Pacheco's mom let her take the car out for a spin, even knowing that Pacheco's license was revoked. At the scene, Pacheco told officers she had used heroin. More recently, paperwork shows Pacheco's urine also tested positive for alcohol. The DA's office is hoping to send Pacheco back to jail for the rest of her sentence. That is slated to end this October. So far, no, new, no next court date has been set for Pacheco. Kim, back to you. Okay, thank you, Chris. Now, Pacheco will be allowed to argue for continued probation. It's unclear when she'll be in court for that latest charge.